had most of our rainfall a little earlier in the day. This is mainly because we wouldn't we didn't just see the normal daytime heating type showers and storms with this little surface load that was two hour north and it's actually keeping a few showers around even late this evening around the Gonzales Donaldsonville area. Nothing particularly intense or heavy. You might briefly get a few little downpours around the Franklinton area kind of light sprinkles that just passed across parts of Goodby, Covington and Folsom and may still see a few little light showers popping up here and there with this surface low, but the model is consistent in keeping us under mostly cloudy skies as we continue through the late night and then early morning hours on Saturday. And if we start the day with cloudiness and a few scattered showers, I think we're going to be getting into the 90s and then definitely a better chance for some scattered showers. Notice not an all day rain. We'll see breaks, but it definitely helps to keep us a little bit cooler. And as I've mentioned, our rain chances while a little bit higher for this weekend, it does not appear to be a washout. Mostly good or a good visibility and a relative relatively clear to partly cloudy skies. I'm watching that nearly full moon outside, so a fairly comfortable evening. 80 degrees our temperature, dew points in the 70s, winds light out of the south southeast at seven miles an hour. 70s and low 80s on the map right now. No changes to that coming in the near term in terms of temperatures, and we cannot get rid of that mugginess in late July. All we can really hope for is rain to keep temperatures down, and we will see an upper pattern which favors more rain in the coming days. Overall anticipating about two to four inches of rainfall. Most of that occurring till about Tuesday or Wednesday. Now the problem would be if we get any localized two to four inches per hour. Overall, I think we'll be able to handle it and it, I don't think flooding is going to be a widespread issue and the Weather Prediction Center maintains kind of a low end threat for any type of street flooding like we saw in the last couple of days. If it happens to fall over the city, you do get a bit more of an issue. However, today we didn't see any of those downpours and here is the culprit. This upper trough is going to keep our rain coverage on the higher side in the coming days as we continue throughout the rest of this week. Well, today's Friday, so the weekend and going into early next week. Also next week, we're going to see the Bermuda Ridge start sending in more moisture or at least keep the moisture in place, but also kind of interesting toward the end of the week. We'll see a little piece of this, a little upper high kind of building over us and that may introduce some drier air, but also start reducing our rain chances. So we will eventually start to see a period of drying out or at least rain chances returning to more normal, but that isn't going to happen through the next several days. Ample tropical moisture will allow for those showers to continue and about a 60 70, maybe some days around 80% coverage, but definitely a wetter stretch of weather until we get toward the end of the week. Great news out in the tropics, nothing going on, nothing threatening for at least the next seven days. Rain chances staying on the higher side, but not a wash out this weekend. At least it keeps temperatures into the 80s. We'll start to see more near normal conditions toward the end of next week.